exercises offer communities the opportunity to prepare for potential threats and hazards they may face. Exercise documentation provides the necessary framework for exercise conduct and evaluation. The Master Scenario Events List, or MESL, is a document or tool that provides a timeline of expected actions and scripted events for an operations-based exercise. These events are then delivered by exercise controllers to generate or prompt player activity. Crafting the MESL accurately requires a lot of hard work, time, research, and collaboration. This video will discuss what a MESL is used for, types of MESL events, inject components, key events, and considerations for developing a MESL. Let's start by discussing what a MESL is used for. A MESL helps meet exercise objectives, drives exercise play, identifies key player actions that should occur, allows controllers to adjust injects if expected actions do not happen, lets evaluators anticipate important evaluation events, and tracks progress against the exercise timeline. Three types of events work together to create a single MESL for an exercise. Injects, expected player actions, and contingency injects, also sometimes known as ad hoc injects. Let's explore these further. Injects. Injects provide players with simulated information to drive exercise play. Injects are written by the exercise planning team, who gather necessary information from the exercise objectives, court capabilities, scenario narrative, and the ground truth document. Injects are fundamental in creating context and prompting decisions by all players. In an exercise that is evaluating the response to a hazmat incident, the inject could be a truck spilling a toxic chemical. Expected player actions. Expected player actions are events that represent an anticipated action to be taken by a player during the exercise. These are derived from existing plans, policies, and procedures of a community. Using the hazmat spill scenario from earlier, the expected player action would be for the 911 center to notify the hazmat team. Contingency injects. The final type of measle event we will discuss are contingency injects. These prompt player action if a critical exercise activity does not occur. Controllers may use contingency injects to keep the exercise on track to help player actions meet the objectives. Contingency injects should be made ahead of time with the exercise planning team or developed on the spot during exercise conduct if necessary. For example, in the same hazmat spill scenario, if the hazmat team doesn't respond, a contingency inject would prompt the 911 center to notify the team of the spill again. Now that we've discussed the type of injects, let's talk a little more about inject components for a measle entry. Each measle event should include the following. An event number, a unique number given to each event, designated scenario time, the time the event should take place, event type, inject, expected player action, or contingency inject, event mode, how the message is being delivered, such as email or phone call, from, contact that is sending the event, to, contact that is receiving the event, message, the description of the event, expected response, how the planning team thinks the players will react to the event, exercise objective, the objective that this event meets, and a note section for controllers and evaluators to track actual events against those listed in the MESL. Now that we've talked about the components that make up an event, let's discuss key events. Key events are events that must occur, either for an objective to be met or for exercise play to progress. Going back to the previous example, the hazmat team response would be considered a key event because they must respond in order to meet the objective of evaluating the efficacy of their response. Now let's discuss the steps to develop a measle. When developing a measle, the exercise planning team should 
review the objectives and scenario, identify a chronology of key events that must occur within that scenario in order to evaluate the objectives, create a timeline of expected player actions, develop event components that drive the expected player actions, compile all events into a single measle, and refine the events based on feedback from subject matter experts. Now that we've discussed what a measle is and the events that make it up, you are ready to create one of your own. For additional information on how to develop a measle, check out FEMA's video on measle development. Good luck!